Okay, are you rolling there? You have to join us? Oh, you are, right on you. You always get me with that. So hello everybody, welcome to the show. Today we are doing some gold pan waffles on the chamois. And the gold pan waffles, it's a little thing I come up with. There's your gold pan. As you can see, a little sluicy, a little sluicy there, <laughs> just like so. Um, they come up, usually, well, usually I do it for the kids after they've had a sleepover and the friends were over and you know, you wake up, they're hungry, they're tired, they're a little bit miserable, they've been watching movies all night having fun, so I plan just up here. And I'll tell you what, after I fed them and they were heading back to their farm, they'd be getting selfies with you and everything because it's that good. So let's get started and I'm going to show you what I've got going on. So you've got your waffle right here. Here, zoom in on that, Joanna, look at that, you guys. There's the gold nuggets. We got the sand and the gravel in the frying pan as we speak. Now I've made homemade popcorn chicken and nuggets lots and chicken and waffles and all that fun stuff. But a quick and easy way, especially after a long night with kids or whatever you're doing, I just get the popcorn chicken out of the box from the grocers and I give it a quick nuke. That way you throw it in there, you're not having two games of solitaire while you're waiting for this to catch up and cook. So just to make it quick and easy. So let's, uh, let's throw the gold in. And what I got going on here, I had mentioned the sand and the gravel. I crisp it up nice, get it nice and crispy. Looking good in there, guys. It's bacon and uh, bratwurst sausage. You can use a breakfast sausage too. I had bratwurst in the fridge, so I went with the brasswork, bratwurst. So here we're going to just brand up the gold a little bit in the brats and the bacon grease and all that fun stuff and the flavor, and we're going to let that rock. And while we're letting that rock, I'm going to show you another little way to make, have a little fun with some waffles. So you cut it up like that. Make some sand. You can make good clubhouses with these, with bacon and egg, and I've done that too. I'll show, show you that on the show here for sure, one of these days. But what I like to do for the kids is just kind of fun and easy is take a little bit of creamy peanut butter. Now you can melt the peanut butter too in the microwave fryer and drizzle. Do the, whatever that saying is, the, the shizzy grizzy or shiz, shizzle my grizzle or whatever you want to call it. Um, a little extra peanut butter is always good. I love extra peanut butter. Now you got to make sure if you've got kids sleeping over that might have peanut allergy, be careful. You can uh, use just syrup, butter, whatever kind of things. Uh, strawberry jam works good too. And go from there. So then I like to take a little bit of this syrup here, you guys. Joanna, are you getting this? I am. Oh, good. Good, Joanna. Yeah, I just drizzle it around a little bit because we are making waffle sangies here, right? Which is excellent. So there we got that. Have a look. And just fold it over like so. There's your sangi, as you can see. Keep the napkins handy. Now, if you want to top it off the way I like to top it off, you're going to need a knife and fork, which is just that much better. I'm just give it a little shake here, guys. Oh, that old tennis elbow will get me. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. We'll just top it up like that. A little whipping cream there, just like so. A little sh shizzy grizzle, or whatever shizzle drizzle, you know. There we go, just like so. And then the good stuff. Sizzle my grizzle, that's what we we'll call it. There you are. Have a good look at that, Johnny. Does that look wow. good or what, guys? Oh, Joanna, would you like to tear into that right now? Wow. Oh, hang on, I almost forgot. Let's give it a set of eyeballs. I was looking back at you. Sorry I can't make it wink, fellas, but that's all right, that'll work, eh? Perfect. There we go, so that's that. Now, let's check in on our bait. Oh, oh, oh. Now, I like to crisp this up a little bit because you're gonna add syrup to it. And it's just going to kind of tack up and make it look good. Of course, we add the syrup after. But you can add honey, syrup, anything in there. My kids love honey on their bacon and their ham. So I always cook the ham and the bacon or whatever I'm doing. And lean a little honey into it towards the end. And let it kind of just tack up a little bit so it's sticky. Um, and there you go. So here we go. We've got the Lucy Lucy going. Look at it. Oh, nice crisp waffle. I'd like to thank... Joanna for prepping these waffles for me. Now we have some great recipes, uh, waffle recipes. I do a cornbread waffle, I uh, do buttermilk waffles, I do, do a few different brands of waffles uh, from scratch. These ones here, like I said, long night with the kids, you know, uh, you have to drive one home at two in the morning, they were missing mom, so you're tired, you're done. Uh, this is just out of the box. And, uh, so I am cheating a little bit today, but this is good too, right? Bang on. So, here we go. We buttered this. It's all soaked and a little bit spongy. Just use that just like a little mattress there. And then we just do that. Oh, you thought that was funny, did you, Chef? Okay, so here's the gold pan. We have a little, little gravel. Oh, ho, ho. see that bacon crisped up like that, you guys? Those are the good chunks. That's the flavor. Now we're going to lay a little extra gold in there so the kids got something to hunt around for, just like so. Oh, we'll have a look at that, you guys. Now you want to spoon a little extra grease in there if you can while you're at it, just to help soften up that waffle. 
There you go. Beautiful. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Look at that. Big in time. Oh, I'll tell you guys, I just love, love uh, bacon, sausage, and chicken, and waffles. I mean, really, it's the best of all worlds, I think, in one. So what uh, we like to do with that is we'll just take a little syrup, just like so, and start doing the drizzle, just like that. You want to get your knife and fork ready. Now you pour yourself a cold glass of orange juice or milk or a Diet Cola, hot cup of coffee with that and start cutting and gouging and I'll tell you, that's a good breakfast. Gold pan waffles with the shemmies. How does it get any better? I don't think it does. No, I don't think it does either. Look at that. Mm, now if you guys want to hang tough for a minute, I'm going to go grab a glass of orange juice and you can meet me at the table and I'm going to uh, eat this in front of you. Are you rocking and rolling there, Johnny? Oh, good. Right on, we're back on. She always sneaks it on on me, I don't know why. <laughs> we're gonna have a good blooper because she's caught me doing some things and a while back there I had waffle batter in my hair and everything. And anyways, lots of fun. So here we are, and there's my uh, gold pan waffles and little Shemmy here is gonna give it a whirl and just tell everybody how great they taste and how good they are. Remember your friends, they liked that, didn't they? It was good. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you like the peanut butter and syrup ones good too though? Yeah. Yeah, they're good too. So that's what I mean, you just flange up. You can use anything, you've got ham too and you don't have bacon. Fry up the ham and let it roll, let it roll around in some honey and away you go. And it's good and you've got your glass of orange juice here. Somebody asked me the other day in one of my messages there, uh, on Facebook I think or something, how come you always use canning jars? Well this here was strawberry jam we got given to us at Christmas I believe. And I always save the jars, we're a little bit hillbilly here, but that's okay, like I said, nothing scripted, it's all real, we don't do itineraries, and we, we do do recipes, but we put our own twist on them, eh? and then I, I turned to eyeball and everything, so. Anyhow, there's our first waffle uh, video, or show, I guess you wanna call it, hey, with the shemmies. Stay tuned, because we do have a chicken and waffle one coming along, which is gonna be excellent with buttermilk, uh, we've got some cornbread coming along and some other stuff like that. I'm um, going to have a couple of guests coming here soon on the set. I'm uh, going to have my brother Ryan, who's a classic at making homemade waffles. He, you know, I've uh, been bragging about it for years and I've never tried them, so I'm going to get him on here and put him on the spot and we're going to get him to flange them up. We won't tell him. And I've uh, got my great friend Robin DeRose, a uh, local realtor in town here, going to be coming over and uh, doing a little taste testing for us. So. It should be great. It, uh, yeah, so you guys are going to have to come join us. Anyhow, I'm going to uh, let Shemmy, she won the coin toss. I was actually going to eat this, but she said, Dad, you got to let me have it. So I said, listen, we'll flip for it. So, but anyhow, come join the Shemmys. Come follow us, subscribe to us on YouTube, and watch all the fun clips and videos and action we've got going on. And other than that, you guys, have a great day, and uh, enjoy your day, and we'll catch you next time.